We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets. Here's Starling Marte, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Three two pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Rosario brings it in, and a good throw gets him one gun. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Nick Ahmed swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. Now the 2 1 pitch. Will not ball, catch no. the zone. Ball three. three ball. One out, nobody on. Hit sharply on the ground. Davis grabs it cleanly. Throw on to first, and Porcello's looking good here. Two away. Up next for Arizona, Cattell Marte is two for ten in the series coming into today. Two out, nobody on. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Now the three and two pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Cespedes is there. And that retires the side. So digging in now, Ahmed Rosario. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1 home is laid off for ball two. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. Throw will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. And now, Brandon Nimmo. Rosario makes a move from first. Pitch outside. The throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. A bouncer up the middle. Ahmed to his left. He's got it. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. So here's Jeff McNeil. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Misses off the plate. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. That's popped up. But this will land untouched. Rosario takes his lead at third with one away. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad bat will continue. Chopper towards first. Fielded cleanly. Only play is going to be at first, so that will go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. Next up for New York, Pete Alonso. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Pitch on the way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line shot to second, but it's caught, and the side is retired. Next will be the cleanup hitter, David Peralta. First at bat for him in this one, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark for the year. Wow, this guy's off to a blazing start, catching a lot of people. Oh, 
and he can't come up with it. The third baseman, number five, Eduardo. Standing in now, Eduardo Escobar. Line towards center field. Conforto has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Settling in now, Christian Walker. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. The 1-1 one -one home. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. And now this is bobbled out in center. And he is in there. And the plate now, Stephen Vogt on the run. This one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Davis is under it. Two gone. So striding in, Hildemaro Vargas, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. This one is launched. Look at this. Gone into the upper tank. At the plate, Alex Young. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way. And he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Fastball didn't miss by much. And it's a full count now. Three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Stepping in, Wilson Ramos, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Ahmed fields it cleanly. And an offline throw, but he just does get back to the bag for the putout. So the base is empty here with one away. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Now the one and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. Ready with the one and two. Ball. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The next 3-2. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. The three, two, one more time. Hey, five foul balls in a row, loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. Another full count pitch home. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Next for the Mets, Michael Conforto. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. 1-1. One, one. Runner at first here, one man out. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. So a runner at first with two away. And up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Ioannis Cespedes. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. 
The next one two pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle reined in and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Go. Outside, two and one. Two, one. Lifted in the air toward the line and right, but this will wind up being a foul ball. And a three and two full count to Starling Marte. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. The bat, number 13. Digging in for his second at bat, Nick Ahmed. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Three balls and a strike to count to the Diamondback shortstop. Got to find a way to get back in the zone. I know you're in danger of losing both to walks, but certainly don't miss over the heart of the plate and have this guy gap one, or even worse, hit a two-run homer. here three to one our score throw over to the bag runners back ready with the payoff pitch hit out towards second he's got it there's one on to first a double play Digging in the switch hitter, Patel Marte. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 1 1. Here's a fastball that misses. High in the air out to center field. Conforto is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. of the inning now so here's the Mets pitcher Rick Porcello Mets pitcher behind at the plate with a ball and two strikes grounded to short there is a med and that's out number one Back to the top of the order now, and up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Rosario. The 1-1. One -one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. And this is in the air now, out to left. Peralta comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone and ready to bat next the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. The 1-1 one -one home it is strike two swinging. Two out nobody on. Hit hard on the ground to second. In time, and the side is retired. Striding in, David Peralta, as we begin the top of the fourth. The 2 1 home is looked at for ball three. Eduardo Escobar will be next. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. 
3 2 pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. The third so here's Eduardo Escobar. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Maddie. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next AB. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Three balls and two strikes to Eduardo Escobar. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Gone! Stepping in now, Christian Walker. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Now back, Pepper, even vote. To the plate now, Steven Vogt. No. And this one runs a little too far no. in, ball two. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon, and this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. And that's through for a base hit. Paul Seawall answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Into the box now, Ildemaro Vargas. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, and this one's dangerously up and in as he hits the deck here. It's ball three now. That's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. And he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. Alec Young. A ball and two strikes to the Diamondbacks pitcher, Seawall, a Nevada native who was taken in the 10th round during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. That's popped up. Here comes Cespedes, but he won't get there. It falls in. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. So now to the plate, Starling Marte. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Davis has got it. Three runs already home here. Count remains full. The next 3 2. Line drive to left. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. The bat, number 13. Four Standing five. in now, Nick Ahmed. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. And to score is the runner from first. It's a 9 1 ball game. At the plate, Patel Marte. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Looking up is Nimmo. Gone! Jerry's Familia gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Tom 
Williams. Stepping in now, David Peralta. Smoked on the ground up the middle. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. The third base, number five, Eduardo Escobar. To the plate now, Eduardo Escobar. A high fastball is in there. Look out. And that's in there for a called third strike on the split fingered fastball, two away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Christian Walker. He singled his last time up. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. On the ground to third. Davis brings it in. McNeil at second to finish off the force play, and that retires the side. <laughs> Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. No, and that misses 2-1. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there and records the first out. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonzo. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One run, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. One and two now as that one's fouled off. To two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. So stepping in, Wilson Ramos. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. So coming to the plate, Stephen Vogt. He's 1 for 2 in the ballgame. Now the one and one pitch. Ground ball left side. Davis grabs it cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now to the plate, Ildemaro Vargas. He was a ground out victim last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. Slow roller left side. Fielded cleanly. And quickly, there are two away. Coming to the plate now, now the, pitcher the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Alex, Alex Young. One Young. for two on his line so far in the game. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two, one. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. This is a big bat right here. No doubt you'd rather go after the nine hole hitter with a runner on third instead of giving the top of the order a chance to cash in. Hit down the line at first, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he popped him up. Rosario over to his right, and the inning is over. Coming to the plate now, J.D. Davis, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. The 1-1 home. 
Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Here it comes. And the sinking fastball called strike three and that's out number one. Striding into the box, Michael Conforto. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And it's fouled away. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Swinging a soft liner. In time to first, and there are two away. Digging in, Joanna Cespedes. Two and one. Now, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Starling Marte. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Count still full, three and two. Sharp ground ball to third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Digging in now, Nick Ahmed. He drove in two with a double in his last at bat. One out, nobody on. Ball two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Cespedes is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Into the box, Cattel Marte. Lifetime against Familia. He's a 333 hitter. The 1 2. Ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Right side. Scooped up. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Robinson Cano is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Hit to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. One away now for the Mets in the sixth. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. Now here's the pitch. Ball. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Here's a ground ball for Ahmed at short. And that's the second out. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Nemo with an even count of two and two now. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2-2 one more time. 
This is lifted out to left. Peralta will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Justin Wilson enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Seventh inning ready to roll. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, David Peralta. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. And he'll try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. Wilson is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Hit to third. Davis has got it. On to first, and there were two down. Standing in, Christian Walker. So far, two for three in this one. Walker. The one two. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Hit on the ground to third. Davis brings it in. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Stephen Vogt. The 1-1 one -one home. A runner on first with two away. Popped him up. Rosario is there. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. It's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Last half of the seventh here, so striding forward now, Jeff McNeil. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Too high that time, and it's 3-1. and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now batting. Stepping into the box, Pete Alonzo. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-1. One, one. No. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, 3-1. There's a line drive base hit to left field. Corbin Martin will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Carson Kelly is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Into the box now. Wilson Ramos. A ball and two strikes now. Martin. Now catching and batting nine, number 18. Carson and a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. The J.D. Davis, the, the next to bat, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 3 1. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Bases are loaded here, one man out. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Digging in, Yoenis Cespedes. He was a ground out victim last time up. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy. And Yoenis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Ball 
set for the start of the inning. Now at the plate, Ildemaro Vargas. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 1 1 home. Ball. Playing two balls, two strikes. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Line drive to left. Cespedes is there and he makes the catch for the out. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now and stepping in, Starling Marte. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 1 misses for the second ball. Runners on first with one down. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And a reach to his backhand side at second, but this finds a way by. Now Nick Into the box, Nick Ahmed. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The count now at two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Down is full. Patel Marte waits on deck. Oh, no. The 3-2 pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Ready now, Patel Marte. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Marte. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. No. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's 3-1 and one now. Two on, two out with a base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch that he can hit one out of the park on. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Now that So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, David Peralta. He's two for three thus far. The one-one is a fastball taken high for a ball. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it. On to first, and the Diamondbacks are turned away as the inning is over. Eduardo Nunez will try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. Eduardo to two balls and two strikes now. Playing two, two, two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, and the move to the pinch hitter will not pan out as that's taken in for the first down. Back to the top of the Mets order, digging in Ahmed Rosario. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. Taken. Called strike two on the inside part of the plate. One and two now. They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. Ball three. Three and two now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive hit. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And there are two away now. So two are gone in the Mets half of the eighth. And ready to bat next, the Wyoming native Brandon Nimmo. He's fallen behind now, three and one.
And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup? Or do you stay with the heat? Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Peralta's after it. He can't get to it. This one's down. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold thanks to first and second here. Kevin Ginkle trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. So now to the plate, Pete Alonzo. And a bouncing ball, foul. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Alonzo carries a batting line a little over the two. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Your Brad Brock comes now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. At the plate, Eduardo Escobar. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now the one and one pitch. Hard liner to center field. Conforto has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Ready for now another chance. The Christian first. Walker on the night. He's two for four with a pair Walker. of singles. Two two here it is now a swing and a softly hit ground ball and there's out number two but now to the plate the pitcher Kevin Ginkle the one one home fouled away. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. I really like watching righty throw that cutter in on lefty's hands like that. This one was down too, and if he hits it, there's a pretty good chance he's going to pound it into the ground. Maybe even give himself a shin burger. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 one more time. Freezes him. A strikeout looking. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball. Two and one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. J.D. Davis waits on deck. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peralta is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, J.D. Davis. A couple of walks for him thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. In now, Michael Conforto. No hits to this point. Here now the 2-2. Back up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. The battle. The in now, Joanna Cespedes. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. 
Jed Lowry will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Two down runners at first and second. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. High in the air down the right field line, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. I know he fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Slapped hard the opposite way. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Now the relay home, and not in time as the run scores. The batter, number one. Good stop. Standing in now, Ahmed Rosario. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one. And this ball game is over. And if you're looking for when this game was decided, that's pretty easy. It was the big fourth inning. That was the big turning point, And they made it stand up the rest of the way. 11-3 the final score in this contest. The Arizona Diamondbacks took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Alex Young earns the win his second, permitting only two hits in six complete innings. Rick Porcello was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for the ball game tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks, 11 runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Mets, three runs, five hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at City Field. 41,922. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please get home safely.